this shit crank. Paving this shit crank. Mm-mm-mm. That Jay be hitting. I don't know what y'all talking about, but that Jay be hit. Hey, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. You already know who you're kicking it with. Your boy Scotty. You were watching off script as always. You know what I'm saying? So listen, man, I love doing these, man. I love giving players they chance to shine. Like I tell y'all all the time, ESPN cannot cover everybody. That's why you got the off script, the cut days, the HBC spotlights, all that. All right. So without further ado, today's special guest needs no introduction, but I got him anyway. You know what I'm saying? As a red shirt sophomore, he was the MEAC first team wide receiver. He led the MEAC in receiving yards with over 1,100 yards, led in reception with 77, was the only receiver in the MEAC to get, a thousand, get over 1,000 yards. He was also second in the MEAC for TDs. Man, listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, when you're looking for a dog, I bring you the top in college football. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. If FAMU was already in the swag, my man would be a lock as the preseason wide receiver first team. It's just guaranteed. Please give it up for my man, Xavier Smith from FAMU. Give it up for him. What's good, my guy? Yeah. Man, I'm chilling. I appreciate you for having me, man. Hey, man, listen, it's all love, bro. Uh, listen, I, me and Cut Day talk about you a lot, man. I don't know if you know Cut Day Sports, but we we talk. He he is yeah. he, he is definitely an admirer of, of your work. And, you know, he has definitely put me on to you many, many days watching your film. So I appreciate you for being on Real Talk. Definitely, man. Hey, you're going in and out. Uh, are you on Wi-Fi or are you off of Wi-Fi? No, nah, I'm off. I ain't, I ain't connected to nobody where I find that. All right, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get through this as best we can. All right, so like I said, this is going to be a real cool, chill interview. Uh, You know, it's just going to be a conversation between two people, and we're going to get it popping like that. All right, so anytime I start my interviews, I like to do a little start bench cut. That's just how I do it. That's just how I get down. want to see where you at. All right, so let's get this popping. Wide receiver edition. All right. So, a little start bench All cut. Right, I got Steve Smith, I got Chad Ocho Cinco, and I got Marvin Harrison. It's all on you, sir. Tell me who you got. You know, you know, I like I like the way Ocho play. I like the swag Ocho bring to the game. So I'm gonna have to start Ocho bench Marvin Harrison. And cut these, man. Okay, I uh, explain. Explain. I know. I already know why you got Ocho starting, but yeah. why you benching Marvin and cutting uh Steve? Yeah. Cause you, Mar Marvin, you know, in his time when he was with Payne man, and them boys, they were different. Marvin Harrison, he was putting up some numbers that, you know, ain't too many wide receivers putting up. I, I think he probably, if you look at the career yards, I think he probably top ten. And career receiving yards, and then you know Steve Smith. I like the way he played, but you know it's the other two guys. I don't really think you know he 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 on that level yet. That but level. The most definitely, all of them, all of them something different. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just you know I just like to see where you at. You know, see what you about. See what you can talk about. All right. So rapid questions. You can explain if you want yeah. to. If you don't, you have to. All right. So real quick. What three words describe you? Uh, chill, laid back, chill and laid back kind of same thing. So I just say laid back, goofy, <laughs> and the third word, huh? Ah, that that third one, that third one kind of tough. But I say, uh, uh, dedicated. I like oh, that. Definitely. What's the last show you watched on Netflix? Yeah, yeah dedicated. 
out of 100. Oh, that joint go. That joint go. Right People be sleeping on that joint. It go. Yeah. Who is your favorite yeah, NFL season player? Season six right now. I'm trying to finish it off. I'm trying to finish it off. Of all time or right now? Uh, let's go. Let's go all time. Let's go all time. Oh, all time, Mike Vick, hands down. Oh, I love it. I love Mike it. Vick. All right. If you can go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Michael Vick. But if you had to, you know, right. Ooh. Probably, probably Dubai. Probably Dubai because I don't. I haven't been there, but I had somebody who went there before. He told me the vibe, the vibe is cool, and you know, I've done seen pictures. It's it's used to, so I almost definitely have to say Dubai. That'd give me a different type of feeling of the world. Got you, got you, got you. All right, uh, who is your favorite superhero? Spider Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah. All right. I like the way Spider-Man do his thing. Yeah. Who is in your Apple Music? You, it's crazy. I don't even have an Apple Music, but, you know, it's mainly Kodak Black, though. Okay, he, he from Florida, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, bro, kind of. Yeah. All right, and last yeah, but not least, that's that's man, the only person I listen to. And last but not least, any pregame routines or rituals you do before the game? I can't. One of them ain't gonna say because you know that's between you know, you know. But well, I I, ain't, I said before the game, you know, I read I read these two scriptures before okay. the game, cover and protect me. I need God to be over me. He gonna watch over me. And then the other one, you know, I I I try to read a little something like a little motivation type thing it's like this book that i had and I always to read something before the game so those two things i do before every game okay all right let me get into this real I quick do that. That's the all right so real quick gonna get into this video clip and i need you and hopefully we don't buffer too much so you can explain it but this is what i, I want the people to see black college football experience take florida a and m Oh, hold on. Got the wrong one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me, let me redo this. I apologize. Let me see. You already know where I'm going. Let me see. Uh... It's still buffering or is it good? Nah? Uh, It's buffering a little bit. Let me see. Uh... I might have to go sign this What's the recipe for the ultimate black cop? Yeah, let's see. Recipe for the ultimate black college. The fam you def Let's get out for the goal line. While being yeah. tackled, All right. he gets Go. the six and the Jags take the two. I need you to explain. So Southern goes up, and you and Stanley got one drive to go uh -huh. back up. So walk me through the first walk me through the first play right here. This bomb he throws to you. Boom. You get that one. And then is the play the next play call for you, or is he or he just goes through his reads? Uh well, these plays they kind of like separated, so it skip a few plays because the bomb that was on third down, that was like third and ten. Mm. And we was running this route all game, all game. Stanley kept hitting me on it. So coach asked me, like, you ready for the double move? I like, yeah, cool, let's do it. We ready. And that's how we threw the that's how we threw the long bomb the first time. That, got, that got us to like midfield. And then we yeah, we got here. Uh coach was like, okay, now let's hit him with the butt. We're gonna 
we're going to hit them with this route again. We went back mm-hmm. to it. And I actually should have scored on it, but I thought, the defen- yeah, I thought the defender was behind me and he was finna hit me. So I kind of tried to prepare for the tackle. Yeah, I tried to prepare for the and then you go back to that's it how, again. That, that was kind of the sequence of it right now. And then you go for the TD. Yeah. Now, okay. So that, now, it's a thing that you do at the end of your touch. That's crazy. What is it that you do when you throw your hands up? Is that your is that your hood? Is that is that like what do you represent when you do that? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm from, man. Haines City, Florida. That's where I'm at. You know, not too many people make it where where we from. So, you know, I I, I want to put the city on the map. So, you know, when I get when I get when I get in the end zone, I want to throw it up a little bit. Okay, now this is the funniest part of the video to me. The man daps you up, and then he looks back and he's like, "Hey, that boy good." <laughs> then he says, "That boy good." <laughs> Yeah, two hundred yards. Yeah, two hundred yards. I mean, yeah, yeah, buddy, that. no, I mean that's like a receiver's dream day. Two hundred yards, like that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. It ain't even feel like two hundred yards. If I'm being honest with you. It, it didn't even feel like 200. So after the game, when they kind of mentioned it to me, like, well, you had 200 yards. It was a shocker to me, you know. Like, you know, I kind of done done it for, for a minute. Like, dang, I, I really had 200 yards. Not not too many people do that. So that was, that was a blessing. I thank God for that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, you you are from Central Florida, and I looked up where you stay at. And it's literally like smack dab in the center of Florida. Is that different than any other part of Florida? Yeah. You know, we going to classify like, yeah, man, we different. Like, you know, you got down south and then you got north Florida. But us, you know, we we feel like we got a little different swag to us. We got to we got to we got to kind of grit that the other Floridians, they don't really have. But. You know, to us, yeah, it's different, but other people they may feel like all of Florida is the same, but <laughs> I definitely feel like it's different than any other part of Florida. Okay. Now this I think these go hand in hand. Speed in Florida. How did well, I mean it's like if you're looking for speed, you go to Florida. It's just that's the name of it. What how does that all come about? Is there a certain thing in the water? Are y'all eating something that nobody else got? Like, what y'all doing down there? Hey, we got we got to keep it a secret, you know. <laughs> what, what we got, you can't you can't tell everybody else. That just <laughs> you know we 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 got what we got. And that's all. We got to say. <laughs> we, we a little different. We we got a we got a little. <laughs> For real. That's real. That's yeah. real. All right. Now, if you could play anywhere else on the field, where would you play if you couldn't play receiver? Running back. People don't know that. That was always my position my whole life. I always played running back. I never played no other position until I came to college. So I definitely played running back. Yeah. College was my first time ever playing. Playing wide, I really didn't know how to run routes that good. So, you know, I got a coach. He he been he worked with me a lot. He worked with me a lot. So, I just start, you know, picking up on stuff that wide receivers do. I never played that position before. So, if I had to choose a position, most definitely running back. That's that's what I do. Oh wow! So. Um. Next, the walk on process at FAMU. Why FAMU? Why'd you walk on at FAMU? Uh cause my my older brother was at FAMU before before I even um got to FAMU, and my my mama she also went to FAMU. So 
they was recruiting me, but I had a scholarship offer, but they pulled it. Mm. All the other schools they left too. So yeah, yeah. So it was like I kind of I was like, I'm gonna just go to fam, then I'm gonna just go to fam. And at that time, it was a little, you know, they was they wasn't winning games, so I wanted to go somewhere where I could start something, you know, get that. I wanted to get fam you back to the promised land where you know we deserve to be. So that was kind of an easy decision, especially since my brother was already there and my, my mom, she already got a degree from there as well. So, oh, that's dope. You know, it all just kind of worked in my. Yeah, it all just worked in my favor. Okay. Now, if FAMU wasn't an option, were there any other schools on the table? Like coming out of high school or during yeah, the Yeah, coming out of high school. Um, I had, I had um, Utah, Western Kentucky, but some things happen. And I also, I also had a chance to um, go to USF, but by the time, because my head coach, he had got fired, and a new coach came in. So by the time he had already found out who I was to tell me that USF was looking for me, it was already too late. Mm, so okay. it might have been maybe USF would have probably been, yeah that that probably would have been the only other school that I would have right. chose. Now your first college game, tell me about it. Emotion, stats. What do you remember about you know the first time you step out there as a wide receiver, not running back anymore? You know, not not behind the quarterback. You out there running routes and catching passes. Yeah. I, I was kind of nervous, but it was it, it was all it been two years since I had played, so I was just so excited to get back out there. I was ready, but I was kind of I was kind of nervous. Like I didn't know like the the transition how the transition would go. Like if the game was that much faster, so at, at the beginning I was nervous. But after, you know, you make that first catch, you get a tackle, you like, oh, this, this ain't what I thought it was. So when I loosened up, I ended up catching a touchdown my first uh, college game. So, Oh, that's it, too it, easy. It was, that was definitely something I – yeah, yeah. That was definitely something I enjoyed. My first game, I you know, I could never forget that one. That's what's up. All right, so – how has spring been going for the team? Like, you know, since you guys aren't playing, you know, spring ball, you know, a lot of inner school probably scrimmaging practices. How's that all going? It's, it's actually going good. You know, it's been a long time since we got to lace up the pad as in even compete. So it's, it's definitely been going good. You know, we just trying to get the feel back, just trying to get back to the basics since it's been so long since we actually played a game. Mm -hmm. So. Now, talk about your head coach and uh, your, your wide receiver coach. How have how are they as coaches? You know, your head coach, Willie Simmons and your your wide receiver coach. I'm assuming you all call him Coach J, maybe. Uh, but how are they as coaches and how have they prepped you for, you know, your upcoming season as well as when you first came to family? See if we can bring him back. X, you there? Okay. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I, 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 can't, I don't know what's going on with the connection. Yeah. So uh, the question was: Is how has Coach Willie Simmons and Coach Jay? I'm assuming your wide receiver coach. How have they groomed you? Got you ready for the game? And how are they as just coaches right. in general? They they both they both real cool coaches. They down on earth. They both understand. And it's like 
Coach JB, he kind of he kind of hold not even just me, the wide receivers as a whole and as a core, he hold us to a higher standard. And you know, he he one of those coaches who know how to get the best out of each of his players. It's some stuff he say that'll make you want to be like, well, I gotta take it up a notch, or you mm. know, like you know how coaches know how to say some stuff that make. Yeah, he might be trying. Me, I got to show him. So, <laughs> you know, he 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 most definitely yeah, he most, he most definitely know how to get the best out of his players. Uh, he 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 showed me different different drills, different different techniques, in order you know, run routes and get out of breaks as quick as quick as possible. So, if I had to even you know, congratulate everybody for the success I'm having. It'll, it'll definitely have to be both of those coaches, most definitely. Man, that's big time. That's that's big time. Now, moving from the MEAC to the SWAC, what do you think is the biggest difference in the in the transition from the MEAC to the SWAC? What do you think you guys are going to experience the most, the most difference? Maybe the 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 trash talking fans. <laughs> that, that'll probably be. <laughs> That's real. That, That's that, real. That might be the biggest. That, yeah. That that might be the biggest difference is the fans most definitely because every game gonna gonna be like. All the fans kind of like fam, you fans. You know, when we was playing those other teams, they was kind of quiet there, yeah. you know. But <laughs> nah, in the swag, they, you know, you know, they get down and dirty, man. So I, I feel like that might be the biggest transition right now. <laughs> so it, this goes perfect yeah. for my next question. Game one, JSU, fam, you, how will the, yo, that's, yeah. I'm gonna be at that game. I just I'm gonna be there. So how would that be? <laughs> right. That that's gonna be a game you wouldn't want to miss. You know, the the the, you know the the stage already set. We just gotta go do what we gotta do. I don't want to really speak too much of the game, but it's it's definitely gonna be crazy. It's definitely gonna be a lot of people in the stands. The atmosphere already pumped up. The game already hyped up. You know, we just got to go out there and play the way fan you play football, and that's what we're going to do. That's real. That's real. I, lo I love the politically correct answer my man just gave you. I ain't going to talk about the game. But I just want to let you know that we yeah. just going to show up and do what we yeah. do. I love it. I love it. I love it. He ready for media day. I love it. Yeah, yeah, all right. this this a warm up right here. This the <laughs> what makes fam you the best fans? Because you said that in the southern game after you dropped the two hundred, you said fam you got the best fans. So what makes fam you the best fans? Is it's already solidified? Ain't much that you gotta say. You come to games, you are gonna see they gonna stay from quarter one to quarter four until it's all <laughs> zeros on the clock, and they gonna stand up. They gonna cheer. They gonna shout. They gonna they get rowdy. They get rowdy. So, you know it's and, and it's it's the atmosphere. Like you know, just being just being in there, mm -hmm. it's a whole different feeling than when you go anywhere else. They gonna they gonna to the end no matter what. And they you know they have Twitter and defend the football team no matter what. So you know they hold it down for us most definitely. That's real. That's that's like I guess fam used the new Oracle. You know how the Warriors had the Oracle and everybody said they got the best home team. Yeah. I'm telling you, you kind of fan you is you gonna you gonna you gonna get a different vibe. That's what's up. Now this this is huge. Fam you, Nike, LeBron. Have you seen any changes on campus? You know, and how is how is that whole you know this whole new endorsement deal going how has fam you been after that <sighs> i ain't think this question would have came up but you know the energy there when you mentioned lebron the energy there so people people 
you know, anticipating greatness regardless of what's going to happen. Now, as the football team, you know, we haven't been in season. So, you know, we haven't seen much, but I know a lot is going on behind the scenes. So I guess we'll just have to wait till the fall to really see what, you know, they're going to bring to the table for us. All right, cool. cool. All right, and my last question is, what should your fans or future fans expect from you in Florida A.M.? Nothing less than excellence. We we trying to we trying to finish strong and do you know we trying to do better than what we did last year. Last Absolutely. year we was nine and two. This year we trying to go we trying to go ten and one. If not, you know, win all eleven games and finish with a ring. So we most definitely we most definitely got something for the fans. And we you know we gonna we gonna finish we gonna finish what we started. Just this time, you know, we trying to end the season with a ring. You know, the Swag trying, fans definitely trying to get that ring. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So we know this last section. So this last section is called this or that. So you just pick one or the other. We gonna we gonna roll through them and see what you got. All right. All right, bet. Text message or call. Text message. <laughs> PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. Hey, my guy. Fade or post corner? Post corner. <laughs> Why, hit him with the double. Hit him with the double. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I like the double move. <laughs> IG or Twitter? Ooh, that's a hard one. Oh. Ooh. I, I gotta say Twitter because Twitter, Twitter come with the fire sometimes. I gotta go with Twitter. <laughs> Twitter come with it. Twitter all right, all right. <laughs> LeBron or KD? LeBron. LeBron. My man. I can't go against points. LeBron. <laughs> yeah. Miami or Orlando? i say Miami because Orlando is right there. Orlando ain't really that. I, get, I wouldn't say he's special, but it's kind of like home, I guess. It's right down the road, so I'd probably say Miami. The baby or little baby? Love baby. All right. And my last one, Gatorade or Powerade? I'm going with Gatorade. All right. Now, this is your turn. Do if you got a shout out to anybody, make your shout outs, your family, love, friends, all that. That's this is all you right now. Man, shout out Hang City, man. Shout out my dudes. Shout out to my people. Shout out to the fam. Shout out to fam. You for giving me this opportunity. So my teammates, my coaches, the staff, the faculty. Shout out, man. We doing this one right now. All right, man. Listen, I ex man, I really appreciate you getting back with me. Uh, I know we 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 you know we went back and forth a little bit, but I appreciate the interview, man. It's all love. I am wishing you nothing but success for fam you and any anytime you want to come back on here, man, you are more than welcome. All right, man. You know, you know, I come next time. We're gonna make sure to connect, right? Man. Hey, bet, bet. Appreciate you, though. Right next time. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you for having me. No, anytime. One. Hey, guys, that was Ex Xavier Smith, the star receiver for uh, FAMU. Now for my comment section. I did not ask him about Nugget because I'm just going to be – I'm going to keep it politically correct because people – 
at schools, watch my interviews, and they don't want me creating beef with players. All right. So that's why I didn't ask about Dejan Warren or any other specific player in the SWAC or in the MEAC, because when I do my interviews and I go ask these schools for interviews, they go look at my stuff and say, hey, I see where you ask such and such about this player, or I saw where you ask such and such about this player. We don't want that to happen. So that's why I did not ask anything specific. That's why I kept it team related. Team, you know, getting to know Xavier, how he rolls, you know what I'm saying, how his coaches are, his squad, all right? Because I don't want them to use my interview against me when I'm trying to get these interviews, and they're like, hey, we don't appreciate that, all right? So that's why I didn't ask about Dejon Warren or anything like that. So I would love to ask the hard questions, but you got to play the game, all right? You got to play the game. So I pre hey, tell them again, Cut. They gonna use it for clickbait. They gonna use off script for clickbait, and I can't have that. I cannot have that. You know what I'm saying? Don't you not about to throw me under the bus while y'all getting views? All right. But uh, no, I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. If you guys have any any players that you guys know personally that you guys want to get on here, please reach out to me. My email is in the description. Um, in my about page, my phone number is in the about page. So whenever you do, just hit me up. All right. But appreciate you guys for tuning in. Trying to have more, more. I'm telling you, I got some people on deck. I got some heavy hitters on deck. I can't tell you who it is. We're still in the works of making it happen. But when I drop it, just know it's going to get dropped. Because I only know how it gives you. Shout out to my man, Jeff. Uh, My man, Jeff. I'm going to put his description below. He got the, the hoodie. I'm repping my man. He says, work harder. Work harder. Jeff Backpack. Go check him out. He's a poet, entrepreneur, and all that stuff, man. So, uh. Yeah, love it, man. Love you guys for tuning in with me. Until next time, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to holler. God bless.